Be a flashback for many of you. NBC 15's Amy Flugsop shows us how a classic arcade game has been revived here in Wisconsin. There's something magical that happens with a drop of a coin. I play pretty much every day, at least a couple games. The lights, chimes, and the audio calls in this game are big on cheese factor. Can be quite addicting. Mike Sievert has been playing since he was a kid and started playing competitively in the last four years. You know, you get one machine and then you know, play others, and you, you know, add another one and another one, and before you know it, you've got 12 of them in your basement. Sievert recently hit the jackpot as he's one of 16 competitors who have qualified for the International Flipper Pinball Association State Tournament, which will be held this Saturday at Schwagler's Entertainment Center in Madison. And we'll crown the champion of Wisconsin, and that champion will actually get to go to the national tournament. So there's 40 states this year playing in the state championship series, and so we'll be sending someone from Wisconsin to Las Vegas in March to play. Just like any good athlete trains for a meet, so does a good pinhead. Practicing a little bit on the machines here at Schwegler's. Uh, I, don't know, I, I live probably 15 minutes from here, but I was in, I think last week I played for a couple hours and just kind of getting a feel for all the machines. I uh, ended up taking the day off of work today just to come down and get, get some practice in. Believe it or not, there's some skill involved. More than just pushing buttons, there's a lot of uh, nudging involved. I know there's a, a, a tilt bob in the machine that tells when you're shaking the machine, but you can actually control kind of where the ball goes. You can save it a lot of times. And while the idea of the game is the same as it was back in the 50s and 60s. The newer games like Game of Thrones, there's a vast rule set. It's like a role-playing game under glass. And so you learn the different rules, you learn the strategy of where do I get the points, how do I complete the modes, how do I get the multi-ball. For Sievert and Jones, the flashing lights and the flip of the flipper takes them right back to their carefree days of hanging at the arcade with their buddies. It's not something from the 90s, it's coming back and it's coming back big. And it's that art, it's that beauty of that silver ball playing around in the game. In Madison, Amy Flukesop, NBC 15 News. I had no idea that they're called pinheads, pinball yeah. enthusiasts. Learn but something new. Yeah, I was never very good at it myself as a kid. But this is the third year of the state tournament, by the way, and if you'd like to try your skills either competitively or just for fun, Madison Pinball has three locations around town. To see those, just head to our website and click on this story. I was